Hello, everybody. The, uh, Mr. Cogswell here with Mr. Peters. Hello. We're going to talk about book snaps and what that is. Basically, it's close to reading, but it's in a digital form. So here I am in the classroom that I need to be Mr. Peters' classroom, and I can see book snap number one. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and open my assignment right here. I'm going to come over here, and I'm going to come to create right here. Okay, and I'm going to create a slide. slide going to pop up and in a second it's going to have my name on it with book snaps number one I'm going to go ahead and click to open it all right takes a second pop to open a new tab so this stuff in the background I'm going to just drag my cursor over all of it like that select it and then hit the delete button it's gone it's gone so the first thing we're going to do is is we're going to insert some text I'm going to show you the steps but there's a whole lot of other stuff you're going to do in the class so I'm going to insert an image and for my camera. Now the first time you do this, it's gonna ask you if you wanna allow your camera. Hello. Hi. However, we've already done that. So Mr. Peters has given us a piece of text that we're gonna look at, and I kinda, it's a little bit hard, but I do my best to get the text. We're gonna look at the bottom here. So I come here, do my best to make sure it's straight. Boom, take the picture. If I like it, I can hit this insert button. If I don't like it, I can take the picture again. So I'm gonna go ahead and insert. Now, the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to make this picture a little bigger. And the way I do that is I can click on it and drag these blue squares in the corners. I want to do the corners to keep the same ratio, and I'm kind of going to do my best to fill my page. Um, now, I only really need this section of the page, so what I'm going to do is crop it. And the way I do that is up here you see there's a crop tool. I can see crop image. I'm going to click on that. Remember, you can watch this or ask Mr. Peters for help as you need to. I'm going to take my cursor over until I see the black bar, and I'm going to drag the black bar over. And you can see I'm actually kind of removing this part of the image, and maybe I want to do over here as well. And then I can click off and move, click on my image, drag it over here, drag in the corners, make it a little bit bigger. So now I have the text. The next thing I do is I'm going to add the question. Okay, and to add the question, I'm going to come over here to click on my shape, click on a shape. Come down to shapes and click on this square. And again, I'm going to highlight. And so here's our question. What was our question, Mr. Peters? Our question was, what or where is the hyperbole and what does this mean? So I'm going to double click in this box and I'm going to write, where is the hyperbole? Question mark. What does it mean? Question mark. Okay, and I can kind of do some of these style things. If you know how to do them, great. If you don't know how to do them, you can learn eventually, okay? Well, these are just some extra bonuses. All right, I'm going to stick with that. So I have my question there. The next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to read the text. Well, Mr. Peters and I kind of already read the text, and we identified where the hyperbole is. And so I'm going to come up here to my line, click on the line, so the drop down menu right next to the line right here this little arrow I'm gonna come down to scribble scribble okay now the hyperbole is right here there were a million men and boys running in the same direction and so I'm gonna go ahead with my scribble tool I'm clicking and holding I'm gonna go ahead and highlight that in kind of a, a circly circle now notice it's not very easy to see so I click off it I can click back on to select it change the color now Here's the pencil up here. Click on the pencil. I like red because it's bright and it sticks out. And then the line width, or excuse me, the line weight over here. Change it to three. What do you think, Mr. Peters? Can I see it better? Definitely. It's fat. <laughs> All right. So the next thing I need to do is I'm going to either have two choices. I can either put in an image of myself thinking. Do an image of Mr. Peters and I thinking very studiously. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay, if we like that image, we got half of Mr. Peters. That's a, that's his good half there. I can drag it. I can resize it and drag it down here. Okay, if I want to make it a little more fancy, again, here's the crop tool. There's a mask image. And I can come here and let's say I can either do a circle. Mr. Peters and I, I think let's do this one. It kind of gets us a little bit better. If I don't like that and I don't want to put a picture of myself in, I can go to, again, Insert. I'm going to insert an image. I can search the web, and I might search thinking emoji. 
emoji. An emoji, yes. <laughs> in in real life. It's cool. Okay, so if let's say I wanted not this one. one. <laughs> yeah, not the sad one, the thinking one. I can tell it's selected by this blue box, and then I can click insert. And if again I don't want my picture, here's my thinking emoji that I can use, and I'll just leave that in there for now. Okay. So the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to insert like a, a, a call out. And when you think of a call, you think of COMEX. And you might not know what that is yet, but we're going to show you. So for this next step, we'll go to the shapes. We'll go down to call outs. And I typically like one of these first two. So we'll go here. Right. There's my cod. I dragged it. And then I can take this little line and I can put it towards my head of myself, mm. Mr. Peters, or the emoji. Okay. We're going to do... It's going to be actually between Mr. Peters and I, so we'll do that. Then we're going to like do our writing here. And so um, in the novel, but, and I'm not going to write the whole thing, but for you guys, I'm going to let you do that. No, not buddy. Hmm. Write some more here, period, in the text, quotation mark comma, quotation mark, put the quote from the text here, period, quotation mark, explain how, what the quote really means and how it is a hyperbole. Okay, so basically I'm going to write and I'm going to fill this box. Now when I'm done with that, there's a few kind of bonus items you can do. You can put in a background and how you do that. Click on the background. So I'm going to pick a background. When I think of running, I'm going to hit image, choose. When I think of running, and I'm going to go to search, I think of the track. So for me, even though they're not at the track, I'm going to put in a picture of the track in the back. How about this one, Mr. Peters? That looks great. I like oh. the curves. All right. So we're going to put that one in. I can see track in the background. I could also insert a picture if I want to again. And let's see from upload from the web. And I could think about like, oh, I want to think about people running. And as I'm looking through these pictures, I can see, hmm, you know what I really, oh, here's a good one, right? Because I can see a lot of people running. So I can put that in. Just a hint right there. Many people running. Many people running. I could put that in maybe here. I don't really need this text up here, so maybe I want to put it up here. Okay. So, so far I'm pretty happy with it. I'm going to read my writing. It looks pretty good. So here's the next step. I've done my whole book snap, which is picture of my book, scribble tool, picture of me and an emoji, question, answer, fun pictures. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to come up to my tabs. I'm going to go back to my classroom. Hit the back arrow here, and I'm going to go to book snaps, and I'm going to open this up. And so I can see, looks like there's already a few book snaps in there. This is where everybody's going to share their book snap. So I'm going to go back to the tab that I was at, okay? Mm -hmm. I'm going to come over, and I'm not going to click on the, here. I'm going to click on my thumbnail, and I'm going to hit Control-C for copy. Okay, I hold Control, and I push C once. I come over to my tab. I click over here, I hit control, I hold control and hit V. There you can choose, there it is, do not link. And so you can see all the people here that have worked on these book snaps have their slides here. And so that's a way we're going to share the book snaps. And pretty much that's it. I know that was pretty fast and that was a lot, but that gives you an overview of what you're going to do, what it should look like, how you're going to do it. So again, this is Mr. Cogswell and Mr. Peters. And we're signing off. Hope this helps. Thanks for watching.